Survivors of a convicted rapist, they now want to change the way Oregon classifies sex offenders after those offenders are released from prison. Women who were attacked by Richard Gilmore, also known as the jogger rapist, took their critical message to the Capitol today. Despite a repeated attacks, he is listed only as a level one offender. That's the lowest in Oregon, one that keeps his name off sex offender registries. Our Jenny Young has more tonight. I'm learning new information tonight, finding out that this bill will not see the light of day. The Senate Judiciary Committee chair saying there is not time to hear it. I think what people need to see is what rape does to people. Tiffany Edens and Danielle Tudor, survivors of serial rapist Richard Gilmore, are employing Oregon lawmakers to pass a bill they say would make it harder for sex offenders to reoffend. Our goal and our job as legislators is to really create an atmosphere where our citizens can be safe and, you know, safe from predators. And there's no question that Richard Gilmore proved himself to be a predator. Senate Bill 1022, sponsored by Republican Senators Tim Canope and Cedric Hayden, would require the state parole board to take into account a sex offender's history and all relevant information before rating their danger to the community. As it stands now, the parole board relies on a form with 10 questions that the sex offender fills out before being released. Based on the offender's answers, they're classified as either level one, two, or three three being the highest risk for reoffending. Tudor and Eden say this method is negligent. If they're doing that with every sex offender that they are classifying, there is absolutely and should absolutely not be any trust from the public's perspective. Gilmore, who is currently living in transitional housing in Portland's Old Town, is classified as a level one. That means he is not on any public sex offender registry. He admitted to stalking and attacking nine women, but was only convicted of the 1986 rape of Edens, who was 13 at the time. Edens and Tudor met with the chair of the Judiciary Committee who told them directly that there's no time to hear of this bill. Eden says she is outraged and feels let down by the state once again. Jenny Young, Coin 6 News.